you're watching this right now because what you heard about has happened. What you have been told, what you clearly rejected to believe and failed to embrace and to believe is what you've heard, read about, your friends have told you, your kids have been telling you, your parents have been telling you. There's even been the movies that have been made of it, but you have in fact been left behind and it's been covered up. Are you watching this right now? What's happening? There's a whole lot of people missing in the world right now and you're scared and you're terrified and you should be because what's in store for you um, is something that I'm not quite sure how to answer because the Bible is so incredibly clear in one point regarding possibly you that it terrifies me to bring it up. But on the flip side, if you're listening to this right now and the rapture has taken place and you've been left behind, then if you have never heard the gospel and for whatever reasons you're watching this right now, you need to pay close attention. By the time you're seeing this right now, there still may be somewhat of a lull in the panic. I mean, I'm not downplaying the fact that there are people around the world trying to explain what's just happened. And you're hearing all kinds of stuff in the news. You're hearing all kinds of stuff about a bizarre intervention of evolution, that evolution, the the powers of a natural world has made its sudden leap into its next evolutionary step, which was instant transformation and people that were raptured were removed from the evolutionary step where you're being told that don't worry, don't worry. It's all going to be fine. In fact, you're special these bad people, these, these knuckle dragging Christians had to be removed. Maybe, maybe you're hearing something right now where people are in fact talking about what our friends told us and what the Bible supposedly has to say did in fact happen. Maybe, but most likely you're hearing something of someone speaking now or shall speak soon on international media, call me new, telling they're going to help you that it's all going to work out okay, don't worry about it, but you've been left behind. Friends, friend, listen, you've been left behind. You, Jesus Christ has come for his church, and you didn't go. And in a matter of hours or weeks, if it hasn't happened already, the Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, that because of the rapture has taken place and you did not pay attention, you did not believe that you are going to be deceived by your own choice and you are going to momentarily, if not soon, believe the lie. Definite article, the, and the word lie. You are going to believe a supernatural lie from Satan. And yeah, yeah, you're laughing. I'm sure you're, oh, Satan, I'm sure. Hey, listen, can I remind you, you have been fatally wrong and guilty of laughing off Jesus. And now here you are. I'm gone, we're gone, and you're still here. What do you do now? Well, the Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, and you should read it, that you had the chance to believe in the love of the truth, but you refused it. And so God is judging you by sending you strong delusion that you will believe the lie because you did not have, and you did not put faith when you had the chance in Christ. I don't know how that goes out. I don't know how it plays out for you. Nobody does. No theologian knows how that, how this plays out for you. Is it possible for you who knew the gospel who knew that Jesus died on the cross for you and rose again from the dead and that you knew that he was coming back. At least you heard of it. You, you had it in your head, but you didn't believe it. 
I have to tell you, I don't know if you can actually be saved or not based on 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Look, read it. Are you condemned by your unbelief according to that scripture? I pray not. But there are those in the world, no doubt, that will be hearing the gospel preached. You're going to be, um, you're going to soon hear of breaking news of a leader, probably out of Europe. Um, someone's going to arise and they're going to have an idea on how to bring a peace treaty to Israel regarding its dilemmas and its enemies and they're gonna they're gonna have a peace treaty friends on tv soon that's seven years long it's a seven year long peace treaty with israel and its enemies this man will engineer this and um, for the first three and a half years starting right now there's going to be a a, a swell of peace and prosperity for for three and a half years, but that peace and prosperity is laced with profound demonic deception. This man is going to swoon you into not only believing in him, but believing in him to the point that you are going to begin to think that the gods have visited us. It may be explained to you that he is some form or type of an alien being, a manifestation of the sons of God, there may be something said to you that that's who Jesus really was, was one of many enlightened ones, and now he's the newest, he's the latest and the greatest. The Bible calls him the son of perdition. The Bible calls him the Antichrist. The Bible calls him a human that is demon-possessed. In fact, demon-possessed to the point where Satan himself at some point will enter him. Seven-year peace treaty with Israel. And in about three and a half years from now, he's going to stand in the newly rebuilt temple in Jerusalem that he's probably going to give the uh, permit to have rebuilt. He's going to stand in that temple and declare himself to be God. And the world is going to go nuts in approval of him. They're going to love it. And... Um, you're going to have to choose between Yahweh being God and the Bible being true. By the way, I'm assuming that you're able to get a hold of the get a hold of a Bible right now. There may be an I don't know, there might be a movement to banish all Bibles, to burn them, destroy them. There might even be a, an attempt to erase the Bible from being available from the cloud or online. I don't know. But um the fact is I'm gone and you're here. And uh Listen, this is what you fail to believe in. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. What's ahead of you, if you're going to choose to follow Jesus Christ now, is a time of unprecedented persecution. And though you refuse to live your life for Jesus when you had a chance, that opportunity now is gone from you. Now, if you're going to become a follower of Jesus Christ, you will be killed for it. The book of Revelation chapter 13 tells you that you, for having put in or going to put your faith in Jesus Christ, you will be beheaded. You're not going to be strangled. You're not going to be shot. The book of Revelation chapter 13 says you will be beheaded put it, for putting your faith in Jesus now. And I want to suggest, no, I want to tell you that though the opportunity for you to live for Christ is now gone, the opportunity now is upon you to die for Christ because it is here. And what's in store for you when they offer you the pref, uh, prefix, prefix number? You're going to be granted a number. They may play off of, in the United States, your Social Security number. If you're in the EU, your personal ID number. If you're in China, it may be your, uh, your personal identification 
uh, social score score number that's uniquely yours doesn't matter what it is where you're at you're going to be offered to receive a prefix number which will allow you to continue to obtain food mobility some form of a diluted freedom under the reign of this individual and his powers right now as i speak to you nations are swearing allegiance to this guy because he's got the answers i just want to remind you that he has demonic powers and demons are speaking through him. That's why he's so convincing. Listen to him. Listen to what he's saying. Listen to how he's saying it. He's got remarkable answers, does he not? Pretty soon you're going to be seeing him manifest um, a, 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 co a co partner with him. He's going to have a sidekick, a religious leader known as the false prophet in the Bible. I'm sure he's going to have a different name for him, a a a, a multi. What 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 will he be? I'm guessing right now is is he a ecumenical unifier? Is it the Antichrist uh, PR man? Well, whoever he is, he's going to be a religious leader. You may have already found out about him. <laughs> 